going. Excellent. I'm gonna grab keys. Oh, we're here. Guys, Ricky's here. He made it here. This is cool. So Maya told me that I'm gonna meet my Australian friend right now. Well, on the tour. Fellow Ricky's at Alveas. Yeah. Spontaneous Alveas tour. <laughs> Follow me. Dang, this is cool. Nice little platform. We're out Ooh. here. Oh, that's for goats. It's a goat tree house. Okay. I love goats. It's hello, guys. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, okay, so you drove up. Yeah. You saw the emu when you came in. Yeah. What else did you see? Uh, some cow bulls. Uh, a cow. There's a cow. Yeah. Excellent. How many animals live here? Ooh. Like 35-ish. Okay, not including cool. the, uh, the insects. I got a lot of bugs. Yeah, sick. I love bugs. You got spiders? Um, we have scorpions. Okay. No spiders right now. We have roaches and ice spots, like roly polies. Roly polies, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, in Australia, we call them butchy boys. Call them what? Butchy boys? Butchy boys. It's like a little black thing that goes into a bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, butchy boy. Okay. I'll start calling them that. That's fine. Emus are sick. <laughs> yes, this is great. Stompy. He's Australian. This is huge for you. Yeah, I know, I haven't seen <laughs> Like they you can recognize. Hello. This is I, Stompy. I feel like people are so scared of emus. No, well they're so they're really intimidating. Yeah. Hello. And like at those drive through safaris and stuff, they can be really like Yeah, when they know quick, you have you know? the food they're like kind of aggressive. Yeah, but Stompy's nice. Hello. Oh Stompy meets Ricky. Hello Hooray. Australian. You think Stompy could do a kickflip? Easily. Imagine cool. how high you could jump. He could jump really high. Um, so he's from a zoo in California. Okay. But his mom didn't sit on the clutch of eggs, so he was incubated. Okay. And then shipped here. Cool. Um, what age did you raise him from? Like 14 days. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah. He's just a little bit. How baby. old is he now then? He's three. <laughs> two. Three. Just from. Just turned three. That's he it. likes giving hugs, but it's nice. I've never seen like such a mellow emu human relationship. Yeah, he's so nice. You want to give him a hug? Will he approve? <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> wow. Stompy's three. This is my horse. His name's Ace. He just lives here. Hello. I've had him since I was 12. Cool. And he's 21. Wow. Now. He's an old man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Horsey, friends with the emu, yes. That's a baby cow that you saw when you walked, when you drove in. Okay. Her name's Winnie the Moo. Winnie the Moo? Yeah. Sick. I didn't even ask if you liked animals. I, I just assumed you did. <laughs> do you? I do not. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. Okay. Winnie. Wow, they're really chill, huh? Yeah, I guess I'm just nice. used to like uh, zoo emus that are like ready for the food. <laughs> yeah, no, Stompy's chill. It's cool in Australia. You can go to like sanctuaries and then like really feed the kangaroos and stuff. Yeah. Every time like tourists from overseas come to Australia, they always be like, yeah, let's go to the animal sanctuary. You can feed the kangaroo. And they're always like so stoked on that. Are you afraid of kangaroos? Am I? Yeah. Nah. Oh. A kangaroo, it's kind of like a deer, you know? It's like. It's so passive and elusive, it's like right. not gonna hurt you. The this donkey? is Serrano, he's gonna be scared of you. You can just stick your hand out and okay. I'll sniff it. Um, his name's Serrano, the other one's Jalapeno. They're rescued donkeys. Cool. There's an angry emu. Drama. She's got beef with the cow. <laughs> beef with the cow, huh? Yeah. This is Winnie so the Moo. What's going on with this blindfold? It's a fly mask. Oh. Um, so it just keeps flies out of her eyes. Yeah, right. Huh. You can pet her, she's very nice. It's Winnie the Moo. She's a, a Red Angus beef cow. Um, I like so honey. I got her from a, a cattle ranch in Oklahoma. Okay. So she was gonna be slaughtered for beef. Dang. But now she's here. You saved her. She likes you. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie, so nice. Do you think she could kickflip? Definitely. 
I don't think she I could, actually. I wonder if a cow could, like, break a skateboard. Physically, yes, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Is Stompy a she? No, Stompy's a boy. Did I say she? Sometimes I say that. Yeah. Sorry. Stompy's a boy. Yeah, Winnie just turned two on March 22nd. She had a birthday party. Cool. It was sick. She got a, a new ball. Did you have a cake? Um, she ate grain. <laughs> she only eats grain. Oh, I hear chicken. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Try to help you. Yeah, we do have chickens as well. There you go. Hi, Mask. Your head's really big now, Win. <laughs> Does it fit? Oh, the parrots. Yeah, you, hear you that? don't know how to talk. Wait, you just have like, co I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the Australian thing right now, sorry. You just have cockatoos like out and about. Yeah. Is that scary? Like, do they bite you? So in where I lived uh, with my mom and my childhood house, Yeah. she would feed the birds and she would feed the cockatoos. Oh my God. And then it's all good at first, Yeah. but then she would feed them every day, every day, every day. Then maybe one day she's not there, doesn't feed them. They get mad. Like they're really yeah, intelligent Yeah, do they like too. chew up your house? Yeah. And they would like, they know that she's, her door is this door and they would like bang on the window, bang on the door chew the door if she didn't put out food and then she'd be like all right all right put out food and then they like calm down so they're kind of like scary you know oh my god that's so <laughs> scary yeah they're really Sounds smart like there a nightmare all right you want to see the parrots yes because they're screaming stompy hi kayla these are animal care staff cool kayla Lindsay, this is ricky hello ricky's a pro skateboarder he, helped, he skateboarded <laughs> nice with to me you. today. Taught me how to kick flip, kind of, not really. <laughs> I did give it another good shot, but I didn't do it. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna go see the parrots. Do you need keys? Oh, yes, please. You Thank you. Um, everybody's locked except parrots. Okay. Excuse me, horse, please stay. He's my horse. <laughs> oh, wait, exciting. Did you see some emu enrichment? Sick. Space, do you want to go back in there? Here, chat, come with me. Sarah, you're very much in the way. No, okay, okay, all right. <laughs> Rick, you ever seen a, an emu play with bubbles? No, I have not. <laughs> Bobby! No, stop it! Help <laughs> me, I have them! I'll make more! Wow. I make more! Whoa! <laughs> oh. Oh! Drama. He's excited. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. Back up. Found bubbles! What the heck, so Sean? Situation. <laughs> Bubbles are serious. Can I not be in the middle of this? <laughs> like Stompy's like, I gotta get him at the source. <laughs> I have to get him at the source. <laughs> I got him. Not the cow. <laughs> Stompy. What are you so Why am I in the middle? <laughs> Stompy. Oh my That's gosh. Right. What the heck? It's high energy. It's a lot. Whoa. Go for bubbles. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, Stompy, come back. They seem to be a, like a little bit more. Oh, he's going. Stompy! He's amazing. Hey, Wynn. How you doing? Oh, oh my yeah. god. No, you don't. You really chill, don't. chill, chill. <laughs> it's really okay, sir. It's not necessary. <laughs> Not it's not it's not a blindfold, it's a fly mask. She can see through it. It's just to keep flies out of her eyes. Chatters. They've really only gotten a little bit annoying the past two days or so. Hey, oh hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> not settle down, settle down. <laughs> Peace. <Not sorry. laughs> Is there actually a reason Stompy has beef with Winnie? Not that I know oh, of. just started this. <laughs> Like a week ago. Winnie is so like. Whatever. Winnie, push hey. her away. <laughs> Go get your bubbles. Look. Bubbles. 
How you doing, sweet girl? Huh? Look, wow, Hello. amazing. Serrano, you want some bubbles? It's like, you see what's going on over there? That bird is crazy. Oh, look out. Absolutely <laughs> not. Oh, chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are the emus that I'm more used to. Before, you should start. You should blow bubbles for them. He before, do this. Before, before he was so chill. Maybe he if you blew uh, bubbles, they would yeah, be nicer. <laughs> <laughs> Here, look, Stompy. Oh, it's so nice. Wow, Stompy bubbles. Stompy doesn't do that to people typically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are not we double checked. <laughs> oh. uh, All right, ready, Stompy? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so Amazing. So He's so confused. <laughs> no, stop me. <laughs> Don't eat them. You're doing such a good job. Wow. It did so good. It did so good. Do you want to maybe get some water today? Like have a little. Ooh, it's time? a nice day for an emu bath. An emu shower. You can... <laughs> <laughs> he just wants the wand. <laughs> taste the bubbles. Probably doesn't taste <laughs> the bubbles. Doesn't like anything else, so. You know, but you can. All right, you want to meet some parrots? Great. Yeah. All right. All right, be good. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah, emu energy is different. It is different. <laughs> they do kind of look like a nightmare animal. The, like, yeah. the eyes and the... In Australia, like whenever you go to the thing where you feed them, what they always tell you is if you're a little kid and you're scared, they go like, if it's coming at you, just go, whoa, and like make yourself really big, because yeah. then they think like, whoa, that's a big animal now, like I'm scared. Because if you just don't have your arms up, they're like, oh, I'm bigger than you. <laughs> Parrot enclosure. Cool. Hey. Are you saying hello? Siren? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Birdie. Thank you, Space. Hello, Birdie. Hello. This is a parrot enclosure. We have... <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> birthday. <laughs> birthday. <laughs> That's Siren. What type of parrot is that? She's a blue-fronted Amazon. Okay. Um, so this is like a... This is a Brazilian bird. Okay, cool. Um, she... Doesn't really like men, but she does like screaming. Okay. So you'll hear her screaming. And what's up with these? Toys! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's just, they just like ripping up cardboard. Okay. Parrots are so destructive. So we just, yeah, okay. we just give them a bunch of stuff to destroy. Hi! Can you say hello? Hello. Siren. Where are you going? Yeah, Australia, we've got another, a lot of cool native birds that you can really just see in your like local area. Yeah. Like cockatoos, rainbow lorikeets. Rainbow like parrots. so cool. And um, kookaburras too are like a more rare one that's like only in Australia. But you can just hear them. Like if you have somewhere like this, you hear them. Can you say hello? Whoa, Wendy. Can you say hello? No, she can. She Hello. just doesn't want to. <laughs> Siren, what do you think? Big truck, scary truck. This is Mia. Ooh. Mia's an African gray. So that's yeah. an African bird. Cool. Um, Congo African gray. Hi! She does like men. If you put your hand here and she puts her head down, you can touch the top of her head. Ooh, that's nice. Hello. Mia bird. Yeah. Bonding. <laughs> And she's really good at mimicking other parrot noises and okay. like truck noises. So she'll do like backup beepers and microwaves and wow. whatever. She's yeah, it's very crazy cool. how they have like the vocal cords for that. Yeah. Hello. What do you think? Hello. <laughs> she does like dancing too. Hmm. Me a moment. Oh, so cute. She's so nice. She bites me though. <laughs> Men though? She's testing me. She likes them. So these two were, so this was someone's pet. Um, and then it's really hard to have parrots as pets, as yeah. you know, like they're just so loud and they destroy things and yeah. scream and make your life miserable. Um, and then she was gonna be a breeding parrot at a zoo. Okay. Um, and then she never was successful there. So then she got booted from that program. Dang. Yeah. And then these two, 
Uh, these are macaws. So these are also Brazilian birds. Um, this is a blue and gold macaw. That's Tico. And then the one closest to you is Miley. Cool. Miley yeah. Sai? Yeah. <laughs> um, Hello. They are super loud. They can scream at like 130 decibels. Um, and they can bite really hard. One of the, uh, there was a blue and gold macaw in Florida that like ate a kid's figure. Yeah. Kind of scary. Yeah. Macaw! Yeah. <laughs> They're helping each other out. They yeah, it's both nice. uh, male or male and female? They're female, but okay. they are pair bonded. They're in love. Yeah, cool. Cool. Atiko. Macaw! Siren was yapping before. I know, I'm surprised Siren's not yapping right now. But they're very pretty. So we have them. All the animals that we have are to teach people about like different stuff. So these guys, yeah. we teach people about the pet trade um, and how it affects wild populations and how a lot of these birds end up in rescues like this. And then with the cow, we talk about like the ag industry and its effects yeah. on the environment. Um, the donkeys talk about animal use in medicines. Okay. And then... The emu, it's kind of a segue into the exotic meat trade because okay. people used to eat emus. They still do, yeah, but not, in not Australia, nearly as much. Yeah, you can, I believe. Hi, hi. Oh, they should be nice. Wow, so nice. A lot of trucks today. Construction on that wolf enclosure I was telling you about. Yes. Yeah, Siren, can you come here? Can you say hello? Hi. Right. Oh, she will bite. She'll bite you. <laughs> I promise she'll bite you. Is that funny? Hello. <laughs> what do you think? Okay. Why? Why? Hello. Can you say hello? Hello. That's nice hello. of you. Thank you. So cool. She's a lot. <laughs> She's a lot. They like to chew on the door. Actually, that's more Mia. Are you saying something? What do you have to say? Nothing? Okay. <laughs> that's the quietest I've ever seen so here. Is yeah, this where they sleep, like in there? Yeah, yeah, they have a AC and heating, so oh, okay, cool. um, they can go inside. We can lock them up when it gets really cold. Uh, to keep them safe, but otherwise they just have, you know, yeah, cool. the run of the thing. Hi, huh, Mia! Nice. You're making a lot of noise, it's fun. So that's a parrot enclosure. Do you have a favorite animal? Uh, chicken. R no way. <laughs> I like chickens there. Chickens of Velociraptors. Really? Raptors. That's so funny. I like the origin and like how they're related to the dinosaurs, you know? Yeah. They're like basically, I think they're one of the closest direct relatives. Well, I have chickens for you. Yeah, please. And like what you said about the parrots, how they're pair bonded. Mm -hmm. Do you ever try to add new chickens and you get into that kind of like social dynamic? Yeah, we did add one, one new chicken. We only have three. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, guys, I have some big news. I've never had someone here whose favorite animal is a chicken. This is a huge day for them. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> Hi, chickens. Hello. Chickens, this is Ricky. Ricky, this is the chickens. Bok, bok. Bok, 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 bok. So the black one is Oliver. Oliver. And then that's uh, Nugget and Henrique. So this is male, they're female? Yep. Yep. Who's that? Bok, bok, bok. <laughs> bok. You can probably pat him on his face. Sometimes he likes like scratches. <laughs> hey! Look at the dinosaur I feet. Pet him. He's nice. He's so pretty. He looks like an oil slick. Boop. Where is his body? There. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys, I talk about food labels and stuff. Um, yeah. Like on stuff that you buy in the grocery store. Yeah. Okay. And then the ag industry as yeah. well. But I'm excited that you're excited about chickens. I usually, <laughs> so a lot of times I skip chickens too for the collabs because everyone's like, oh, it's just a chicken. Nah, Oliver has played the xylophone. Okay. He could get on a skateboard. Yeah, I have seen some videos like that. Yeah, it'd be sick. Um, he's also played the drums. Okay. That's it. Quite the musician, huh? Yeah, he's amazing. <laughs> he's really talented. 
my girlfriend recently made a video where she had like a puppy uh -huh. and then she had like two different pieces of paper and it's like puppy chooses my snowboard trick oh, and then that's it's like cute. front side or back side or like 180 or 360 and like it, it chose the trick that she went and did like, that's a good idea yeah you should get chickens and do that <laughs> chickens so that's the pasture parrots and chickens and then we have a bit of a walk. Okay. And we'll go back up to where the building that we were in when you got here. And then I'll show you like, we have a nutrition house. Okay. Where we do diet and nutrition prep. And then we've got rats in there and chinchillas in there. Yeah, sick. Chinchilla. Chinchillas. Guys, do you think Ricky should start streaming on Twitch? <laughs> Let me know, chat. We were talking about it. We were talking I guess about mainly it. I stream on YouTube. I mean, I consider my, myself more of like a short form and YouTube creator, but I do really like streaming and streaming like my skateboarding stuff or just like collaborating with other people, like getting them into skateboarding. Well, I, I, I told him, I was like, if you're going to do this stream with me and today's stream kicked ass, I was like, you know who would stream with you? Like at least five people that I can think of within a 30 minute radius of here. And yeah, then you stream I mean, on Twitch and they raid you. You're in there, baby. Sounds good. <laughs> then you're a famous Twitch streamer. <laughs> Bada bing. <laughs> Bada bing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's something to think about for sure. But yeah, let me know chat. Yeah, I think that'd be sick. That I was focused sick. on you landing a kickflip, if I'm honest. I wasn't thinking about the raid. Oh, well, that would have been sick. <laughs> <laughs> Already followed? Do you have a Twitch channel? No. Uh, I think so. Oh, <laughs> plug it. Guys, go follow Ricky Ch <laughs> Then he has to do it. I think it's just my name. Following is free. Go get him started. We start linking all the Ricky channels on Twitch. Huh? It's yeah. <laughs> Can you just click on a ch uh, chat as name or nah? No, not on here. You can, no? Why? Oh, I don't know. You want to ban them? <laughs> no, no, I mean like on my account, like to see their account. Is it Ricky Glasser? I'm pretty sure it's Glasser? just twitch.com slash Ricky Glasser. Sorry. Oh yeah, look, it's we've gone up 17 followers, let's go. Oh my God, that's huge. <laughs> that's a lot. Hey, you're on the ground floor, first 100. Sorry, I'm muting us so we don't lose our minds. For sure. Shout out to all the skaters in the chat. Ricky's a legend. I used to watch his braille when he was one of my favorite skaters. Thank you. Nice. Appreciate you. Oh, look, 35 followers. Let's go, chat. Dude. We up. We up. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, all right, guys. If you follow on Twitch, I'll stream later today. Oh, really? Whoa, 150? <laughs> oh, my God. The first 100 is gone already. <laughs> Ricky, I told you. 170? All oh, right. We should have talked about this earlier. We should have <laughs> talked about it when we had 10,000 viewers. <laughs> So good. Yeah, this chat. is push pop. Oh, what? You didn't wait. We didn't go in this. Welcome. Room. This is the nutrition house. This is where we do diet and nutrition okay, prep. Okay. So I want to say that this is a tortoise. It is a tortoise. A turtle. She is a salcata tortoise. Um, I don't know why she's kind of scared right now. She's so not usually like that. If I seen this in the wild, do not put it into the river. Correct. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> she would not. She would not do well underwater. Yeah. Cool. Why are you scared? Push pop. I don't know. She's not having it today. This is not, this is a very temporary enclosure. Okay. I will show her, show you her new enclosure soon. These are chinchillas. They're, oh, they're right here. Ooh. It's a fluffy rodent. Hello. Can you pet you? Beep, beep, beep. You can maybe pet him under his chin there. They're very soft. Ooh. Moomin. <laughs> So we have these teach people about the fur trade. It takes like 120 of them to make a fur coat. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So a chinchilla is kind of the relative of like a ferret, a rat, a mouse? Um, yeah, they're, yeah, they're rodents, so rats. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then rats. <laughs> yeah, sick. We have, what's your step? There's chicken poop there. You stepped in it, but it's fine. <laughs> um, there's rats. Wait, actually, maybe they're not back yet. 
Are they back? They had a vet appointment this morning. They might not be back. Okay. Um, Polly, you, she's gonna scream. What the heck? Do you like chickens? Polly? Chat, Polly's new thing lately is sitting there and pretending like she has eggs that she has to violently protect from us, <laughs> but she's sitting on nothing. You know what else you can do if you go to Australia? Is see the penguin parade, we call oh, it. Oh, that's so you sick. Go, it's actually right where my mom lives. They, they come in naturally off the beach, and there's no like set time. It's like, it is at sunset every day. Oh, you go there, they, like, you see them walking off the beach. That's really, really so cool. cute. Polly. Okay, well, you can admire her from afar, perhaps. <laughs> I swear she's not sitting on anything. It's just her new thing. Okay. <laughs> That's Polly. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the drama. Yeah, she's a little dramatic. It's okay. How many followers do you have, Ricky? <laughs> Let's see. Three hundred and thirteen followers. Nice. Let's go. That's huge. Appreciate you guys. That's some fast growth. I know. Okay, these are all the construction trucks because there's construction. They're not usually here. <laughs> Yay! This is the barn. Sick. Store stuff in there. Cool. So where is the skate park? Oh, right, right. Uh, actually, we have a concrete pad right there that that trailer's parked on. It's real smooth. Oh, uh, yeah? It's real nice. That's yeah, you could totally, totally do a kickflip on there for sure. <laughs> it was, like, smoothed out with a shovel. It's, like, <laughs> oh, <okay>. terrible. <laughs> terrible. We should put ramps out here, though. Yeah, build a little mini ramp? Yeah. No, a big one. No. <laughs> big ramp. ramp. Yeah. <laughs> These are goats? Yes, I like goats too. They're really mean, so they have to be locked up. Yeah. Because they headbutt. But that's that's Beetle, the one coming towards you. She's my favorite goat. And that's Oatmeal, the white one. And this is Kylie. Beetle, Oatmeal, and Kylie? Yeah, and there's two more in here, but... Oh, they're lying down over there. The brown and white ones. Yeah. Hi, Beetle. Yeah, I like goats too. Hello. Eat a tin can, let's go. Yum. Amazing. <laughs> Ramps would be dope. All right, we'll put it on the on Connor's list, on the project list. Okay, the animals are gonna be kind of weird out because there's so much construction going on. Yeah, so okay. don't mind them being weird. This is a marmoset enclosure. You know what a marmoset is? I do not. It's a monkey. Oh, really? Little ones, Sick. little monkeys. Boys, hello. So what's up with these? Is this like special donors? Yeah. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. They sponsor enclosures. Hello, okay. Is this to weigh the birds? Weigh the monkeys. Oh, okay. They're very small. <laughs> They're, uh, Ooh. Damn, yeah. they look so wise. Yeah, that's a um, <laughs> Momo. He's a black tufted marmoset. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hello. And then Appa is right to your right. He's a common marmoset. Ooh. Appa! Oh, Hello. Oh. They probably Man, won't let you touch them. They're um, so but tiny. They do like screens. Yeah. Um, so if you like show them your phone, they might come down to it. If you want to show them some cool skate videos, feel free. They might like that. <laughs> They're like iPad kids? <laughs> yeah, they love <laughs> iPads. You can uh -huh. put it on this platform, they might come down to check it out. Okay. Yeah, let's play a skate video. Um, monkeys can bite, do bite. Sometimes he jumps on people, but also, for whatever reason, I feel like Ricky does not care. If it bites me? Yeah, he's got such a small mouth that you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. It's not that serious. Appa, come here! What's going on out there? They're like so sketched out by the yeah for by sure by the trucks. <laughs> Chat right outside there. There's like a giant concrete truck. So they're like, what is that? What is going on? You thinking no? You taking the high ground? 
I so like these ones. I like the enclosures. Nice Thanks. ropes. Braiding the ropes is a huge pain. Um, there, you go. there he is. You want to see skateboarding videos? <laughs> it's cool. I always wonder what animals think when they see like a photo of themselves. <laughs> He loves it. Yeah, he likes the dog slide. <laughs> yeah. Double tap. <laughs> Double tap, you said. <laughs> so these two came from a neglect case in Austin. Somebody bought them as a pet in the city. Oh, and then okay. just like had them in their house and didn't mm -hmm. know how to take you care of You know what happened them. to me in the Bay Area? What? Like right where the Braille skateboarding thing is? Uh -huh. I walk out onto the street. There's a fish tank on the ground of no. like, not a crazy fish, but just a little bit of an exotic fish. It says, I bought this for Halloween and I can't take care of it. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Literally just on the sidewalk. And oh I was like, what the my heck? God. Then my friend took it and built like a enclosure. That's and stuff. so sad. But it, yeah, it what was literally just on, we skate past me like, what? And there's like a note. Like, what, what kind of a person is doing that? Yeah, that's awful. But these guys just had like a really poor diet. They were inside, so they had vitamin D deficiencies. Dang. He had almost no use of his back legs. Now he's got full use of his back legs. Yeah, now he's flexing them. Yeah. The <laughs> Double tap. <laughs> like and subscribe. That's cool. He's had more than half of his teeth removed. Oh um, yeah. Oh. oh. Fighting. We're not gonna. What we're not gonna do. What we're not gonna do <laughs> is pee on his phone. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't let them pee on your phone. Um, yeah. Honestly, I didn't really know monkeys could be this small. I know, huh? They're tiny. They are They are monkeys. They are primates. These are Brazilian as well. Cool. You just went to Brazil, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went to the Amazon. How was that? It was awesome. So crazy. Sick. So crazy. Australia next. Yeah. <laughs> They love the camera lens because they can see their reflections in Oh, yeah. No, no, Chad, he's not peeing on the phone. <laughs> yeah, he's had more than half of his teeth removed because they just, like, rotted out. Dang. And they were in a really small cage, but they've done really well adapting to, like, having an outdoor space. They have basically this inside with AC and heating, too. Yeah. So they can go outdoor, indoor. And they're obviously teach people about the pet trade, why monkeys aren't pets. Yeah. Um, and about the Amazon. You ever um, take like a like a school group through here? No, I've done some like Zoom programs for school kids, uh, but mostly it's just Twitch, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Momo? Oh, who's that? <laughs> he thinks about a lot of things. You can tell. Yeah. Got a lot going on in there, bud. Who is that? <laughs> He's got a good look at you. <laughs> he won't jump on you. And he can't really bite because of the teeth. Situation. Yeah, okay. So he's chill. I like how they're just scanning everything. Him I guess I guess because if they're such a small monkey in the wild, they all got to watch out for all the predators, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're really quick. That one, he'll randomly just like jump on your shoulder and like chomp your cheek. <laughs> like he'll just go like, right. Yeah, that'll startle you. Yeah, it's startling. Because <laughs> they're very like squirrely you know, yeah. and fast. He's thinking. He's thinking. So he's a, they're different species. He's a black tufted marmoset and he's a common marmoset or okay. a white tufted marmoset. Black tufts, white tufts. You guys are being very brave about all this stuff. Good job. I can go show you what they're working on. Yeah, cool. It's very cool. This is a wolf enclosure that we painted all the rocks for. Can you lock that? Thank you. Excellent. All right, where did I put the keys? In my pocket. Cool. Oh my God. I'm overwhelmed. Thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very serious operation. It's very serious. Chad, what do you think? Sound good? That's the audio. So, we're rescuing two wolves. And they're getting this whole, this whole space. Um, like all the way 
down to where the black posts are. Okay. They're building an inside space so they can have AC as okay. well. What is the rescue like from a zoo? From another facility, yeah. They're, they gotta be transferred. Guys, wolf enclosure update. They're pouring the concrete pad for the 30 by 30 today. That's why there are so many trucks and men. <laughs> and we have a construction cam up so they can watch oh, cool. it. Oh, Yeah, it's kind of fun. They said they're deaf. <laughs> it probably sounds awful. Wow. This is the crow enclosure. We won't go in here because they're definitely not having it. Um, yeah, okay. But it's just two, it's two American crows, okay. black crows. They're locked in right now because there's yeah. too much going on. You know what a magpie is? Yeah. They're a cool bird in Australia. Do you like them or are they annoying? Well, I like them, but little kids get really scared of them because they can like swoop at you. <laughs> it's really funny in Australia, you see cyclists, they wear a helmet and it has these like spikes, like literally just kind of like spikes sticking out. Do they actually out. get you when they swoop in? Or are they just... I, I think they occasionally can and they can like mess you up. Mm. But for the most part, it's more just like to scare you. Where That's their nest funny. is, they're just trying to like get you to go away. This is Push Pop's enclosure. So that tortoise. Oh, cool. Um, she's gonna have that inside space, and then we're building out this whole thing. So she has the run of the the yard, so and then she's gonna have a little pond pool situation. It'll be very cute. How big is the property here? Uh, 15 acres. Wow. Push Pop is what she's like this big right now but she'll be 100 pounds they're like the big tortoises oh sick yeah <laughs> and she can live push 100 pop years is a good name too thank you thank you <laughs> poppy push pop push a tea pop smoke snap crackle pop the pope this is the fox enclosure dang foxes yeah uh, in australia we got foxes but they're considered like a pest pest yeah yeah, we have two um, American red foxes. He is not red because he was bred for the pet trade. Okay. So he was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in yep. California, Central Coast. Um, and then the other one was orphaned as a baby and then raised by humans. And so he's non-releasable for that reason. Okay. We can go say hi. Foxes are stinky. <laughs> Brace yourself. Hi, boys. Wow, so brave. Yeah, friendly? Yeah, he's pretty chill. He, he won't let you pet him, but he'll probably come up and sniff your hand if you, like, crouch down. Yeah, okay. Finn, you want to say hi? Who's that? He's like, oh, sorry. So we have these guys to teach people about the pet trade and the fur trade. Yeah. Um, fur's much less popular now than it was though. Oh, he decided to have a seat over there. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that's, that's fine. And then Reed is the, you're probably used to seeing foxes like that. Yeah. Um, Reed is an American red fox, was born in the wild. Um, so, but he's way more shy. He will not come over here. Yeah, okay. Buddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're also probably pretty thrown off by what's going yeah, on out there. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, they were at a they were at a facility where they were sharing a five by ten. Oh, a five by ten foot space. So like okay. one of me by two of me. Yeah. Um, it was really small. And then they moved into here. Now they have some trees. They can dig, which is really fun. Yeah. Um, uh, I like that kind of tree. I feel like I used to have ones like that in Australia. Is that like a paper bug tree kind it's of? It's a cedar. Okay. I don't know if <laughs> you have not. cedar in yeah, yeah, no. cedar out there. It's red cedar. Sick. Yeah. Ben. And what I was telling you about um, some of the animals here probably couldn't be in a normal zoo where there's like people running around. Yeah. That guy up there is so anxious. Like there's no way that yeah. he could handle public coming through all the time. Yeah. Um, but for him, because he's non-releasable, it's either stay at a place like this and still get to teach people and not even know that it's happening yeah <laughs> um or be euthanized so 
it's really cool that he gets to live here. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you saying bread? What's bread? They have new emotes every day. I can't keep up. <laughs> Makes me feel old. <laughs> Like the rioting that they were doing earlier. God, they're obsessed with this like alien cat thing now. It's a Finn emote. Oh, because he looks like a loaf. I see. Yeah, he is lying down. Finn. Buddy. Look at what they've done here. We gave them this barrel situation because we thought that, hi Reed, we thought that they would use it as a den, like they'd go in yeah. the barrels, but they just dug under the barrels. Chad, have you seen it from this side in a while? They've done some real work here. <laughs> They've made some real progress. Looks pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh God, I shouldn't have said that about the cat. Now they're riding again. Pretty nice, good job, buddy. You're doing great. <laughs> They're architects. The beautiful yeah, that's thing- that's what the Australian foxes look like. Uh-huh. The beautiful thing about putting this barrel in the middle of the enclosure is they can dig as much as they want right here in the middle. It's fine. There is wire buried so they can't dig out. But yeah, okay. It would be an issue if this was like right up next to the fence. It would make me really anxious. Yeah but they're just digging. They love digging. You wanna see if you can get up close to Finn and like at his level, cause he looks really cute. And if he runs away, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Good try. So yeah, those are the foxes. They also have AC, indoor space, pretty sweet. So that one, you'll pull it towards, yeah. Pull it towards you. Pull it like this. I think it's uh. just stuck. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Sorry. I've never seen these before we got this in place. Yeah, yeah, okay. They're very weird. And then that's my house. Oh look, that was the cutie. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, I live back there. Okay, cool. In a tiny house. The foxes are my neighbors. <laughs> Chat, what do you think? I was explaining to Ricky what show and tell was, so we gotta do that today. But just a little walk about. Yeah, thanks so much for showing me. No, of course. Really cool. Yeah, it's not, not too far. I'm glad you got to come. Yeah, totally. I think it's really sick what you're doing here, you know? Thank you. The, like, you know, power of social media. People like to talk bad about social media, and, like, I categorize live streaming Twitch as, like, kind of social media as well, sure. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, look at all these cool things that can come out of it. People never really think about the positive so much. You can do cool stuff with it. Yeah. For sure. Um, it's very different from the other IRL streams that I do, right? Like, I... I don't know, I've done like drive throughs and cooking and Yeah, for whatever, sure, but then it, it always flipping. kind of like, I like how it's leading towards the, the underlying messaging, you know? Yeah. Of like, your goal. Yeah. I think yeah. that's cool. Pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you have to come back to Austin. You have to bring your girlfriend here. Yeah. And you have to get set up with streamers. I have to get you set up with streamers and you have to stream on Twitch. That's my business plan for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sounds great. Sure thing, sure thing. <laughs> Look, we're gonna have a nice concrete uh, ball. Okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's okay, I guess. That's fine. Have you introduced him to Georgie? Yeah, we can go back in the studio. He did see Georgie though, the frog. Yeah. Yeah, he's a big frog. He's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. We should have started with showing you insects. Now we've been in the pasture, so I can't. Um, Cause the fly spray. Okay. But, yeah. Ludwig better watch out. Yeah, I do need to talk to Ludwig. <laughs> he could really redeem himself here. <laughs> Did he see Poppy? Yes. 
Which one's Poppy? The tortoise. Oh, Push yeah. Pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got, she goes by lots of names. Yeah. Guys, he has seen what you guys have seen with him. Yeah, we just went live when he got here. <laughs> he also has seen a lot of blue tongue skinks. Yeah, as a kid, I used blue to see them. Lizards and get scared that it was a snake. Did you ever get bit? Nah, but some of my friends did and they were like, oh, it hurts so bad, blah, blah, blah. So I was, I was kind of afraid. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly, right? Like you would, can... If you're in a rural area, yeah, mm -hmm. you could go to the playground and like just see one like right there and then you'd be like, oh my God, it's a snake. Cause maybe you just see the kind of neck part. Right. And then you're like, it's a snake. And you actually have to worry about snakes in yeah, Australia. Yeah. We have rattlesnakes here um, and like coral snakes and stuff. Yeah, my understanding of rattlesnake is like, if you get bit, it's not great. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, get to the hospital, cool. Yeah. But in Australia, basically any poisonous snake bites you. Yeah. It's like, you need to get to the hospital very soon. Otherwise, right. big, big, big problem. Yeah. But yeah. A George, everybody, you know, Chilling. doing his thing, living his life. He's pretty chilled out. They'll bury themselves for like 10 months out of the year in the wild. Okay. So they're very used to just like sitting, Vibing, meditating. Vibing, meditating. Who knows what he thinks about or knows. But yeah, he just, yeah, he just hangs out. Does it, you ever take him out of the enclosure and like mm -hmm. handle? Yeah, he gets, uh, he eats mice okay. once a week. Um, so we have to feed him mice. And then he eats. Uh, uh, how, super... how does he eat it? All in one? Yeah. Really? Yeah, but they're frozen thought. It's not like a live, like, freaking out mice. That'd be really sad. Yeah. Um, so he eats mice once a week, and then he eats some bugs, like super worms and mealworms and stuff. Not mealworms anymore. He used to. Mice? Yeah. Yeah. Georgie likes mice. You want to see. Uh... And where is the butterfly enclosure? Oh, we don't have butterflies. <laughs> Look at this. You know what that is? It's my most prized possession. Uh, it is, I want to say it's like a lizard's hands. Yeah, it's skin. our skink's hands. Cool. He's a genius. Toast mittens. Amazing. That's um, really cool. That was the quickest tour I've ever done, but like that's... <laughs> yeah, cool. And there's snakes? Uh, the snakes are in here. Okay. But they're in temporary enclosures right now. The skink is also in a temporary enclosure. There's your, your friend. Toaster strudel. Is, is a blue tongue lizard Australian as well? Or yeah. are they everywhere? Yeah. yeah, see look how much it looks like a snake. Yeah, he does look like a snake. He had a vet appointment this morning to get his nose checked out. Mm -hmm. um, so he's kind of pissed off. And then we have snakes and bins in here because they're moving into these like big enclosures. Yeah, cool. And then bugs. So the, what do you call them? Butchers? Do you have any moths? Butcher, butcher boys. Butchie boy. Butchie boys. Um, How do you feel about we moths? We don't have moths. I love moths. Yeah, but we don't have I feel any. like moths are underrated. They're very cool. Oh, there are the butterflies up there. Oh, yeah. Some pinned butterflies. What's wrong with his nose? He just has like a like a scab on his nose. Um, and Kayla's been treating it for a long time. It hasn't gotten better. So then she got it checked out today. But yeah, that's it. You want to check how many followers you have? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Maya's telling me to stream on Twitch. Good yeah, idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twitch.com slash Ricky Glaza. Twitch.tv. 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 Good <laughs> shout. <laughs> he's, oh, he's, it's, where's your channel? <laughs> Where is my channel? I don't know. Isn't it just here? Is this your channel? Yeah. 416. Let's go. Nice. Appreciate you guys. Nice. Um, Chat, it was the most informal thing ever. I just wanted him to see it because he doesn't have anything else to do today. Um, and we're hanging out. So totally. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, I will do show and tell in a little bit. But we can switch back to live cams. I can switch them. I'll do show and tell in a little bit. Everyone going to go follow Ricky on Twitch. Wahoo. Yeah, um, Me you forcing Twitch on you. You don't have to stream on Twitch. You can do, it. <laughs> do whatever you want. Um, guys, say, say thank you to Ricky. All right, bye-bye. Appreciate you. Thank you for showing me around.